The REACT trial compared early combined immunosuppression with conventional management for Crohn's disease in community gastroenterology practice in Canada and Belgium. REACT is the largest randomized control ever performed in Crohn's disease. Almost 2,000 patients were followed for up to two years. REACT is also one of only a few trials to compare alternative treatment algorithms. The study found a non-significant benefit of early combined immunosuppression on clinical remission, defined as a Harvey Bradshaw score of less than four without prednisone. However, a significant reduction was seen in the composite rate of major adverse outcomes, including the need for surgery or hospitalization or development of disease-related complications. These results suggest that symptom-based treatment targets may not prevent bowel damage and that the early use of combined immunosuppression may alter the natural history of Crohn's disease, even in patients with long-standing disease. The treat-to-target concept is based on objectively assessing outcomes and refining therapy based on these outcomes to achieve a desired treatment effect. The optimal target in Crohn's disease is likely endoscopic resolution or near resolution of ulcers. However, implementation of treat-to-target in Crohn's disease requires agreement on definitions of both mucosal healing and a treat-to-target strategy. Challenges include the lack of validated prediction rules to define high-risk patients, the burden of serial colonoscopy, and the ability of currently available treatment regimens to achieve mucosal healing. Furthermore, targets might differ in patients with and without structural bowel damage. In my opinion, implementation of early combined immunosuppression and a treat-to-target strategy based on endoscopic endpoints has the potential to alter the disease course in Crohn's disease. This possibility is being tested in the RAC2 trial, which has currently recruited 900 of the required 1,200 patients.